I'm Tash Riddick. Uh, I'm the owner operator of Plan B Distillery. Uh, we've just recently set that up and about to launch that in the next few days. And I actually came to the uh, course uh, really to help us actually get on the front foot of all the things we need to do to set up a distillery. When you're starting a distillery, you, you probably underestimate the, the sort of planning that needs to be done. So like the, uh, the costing sheets and the, the um, budgets and what have you have been really, really good, um, which is probably the, the best thing from my point of view. So it helps you to sort of really understand the cost that's going to be involved before you start spending all the money. My fiance and I recently bought a four acre property in the north of Brisbane and we'd love to grow our own botanicals and have our own little gin distillery and kind of play around with all things distillation. I've reached out to, to you and the Institute a couple of times and, and you've been really forthcoming, able to provide some really good contacts with Stuart from uh, Little Juniper in Adelaide. Uh, we now catch up on a, on a semi-regular basis, you know, and it's great to have, to meet those sort of connections so you can bounce the ideas off each other and, and sort of helps you to fine tune the, the the, the role that the distillery is playing. So yeah, it's been really good. When we first started thinking about the distillery, it was, where do you start? And it definitely gives you that framework to start, okay, this is what I need to look at and work along each little problem as it comes up. Networking, like meeting a few of the other people here today, awesome, yeah. The course for us was being able to pull together a business plan, having great guidance along pulling together that business plan so not only does it set you up for success it also sets you up for all the other things that you need to do to set up your distillery in getting your licenses uh, all those aspects it actually supports smooth sailing in that space to get it done even the webinars the people that you've had on to, to do those webinars has, has sort of helped you to to really get your ideas solidified and, and, and work out what you want to do. So it's been really good. And that broader understanding of all the different things that you need to consider in pulling together or opening a distillery, which I would have never have considered before.